Yeah. No, need, I just uh, realized that there's 55 here, so. Yeah, it's one of those. I, I think we can find construction components along the way. Yeah. Especially now that we know that they seem to pop up on those um, beacons. Yeah. So, um, I'm just going to keep plugging them into this. I, we just need solar cells, I think, on all these solar panels right now. Which are being built as we speak. Plugged in a thousand. Figured that'd be enough to at least start us out. Uh, I don't know what's a good start. <laughs> Here's... We'll definitely need more, though. Oh, yeah. Hey Eric, uh, yeah, this game is tons of fun. Um, yes. Yes, the person I'm speaking to is co-op. Uh, we are in a survival. Um, we're in survival mode, but there's a sandbox mode as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you can co-op on this. Um, this is kind of just like an open-world sandbox builder. Um, and uh, we're <laughs> we're trying to survive. This is a season two, actually. We've. Um, we spent an entire season, about 170 plus episodes, figuring the game out. Yeah. And we took a little hiatus. And then the ship, which you can see, I think, on Drew's stream right now. There's a link in the description for him. Um, he's over inside the sun over there. <laughs> <laughs> From my view, there's a, that friendly signal that's over there. Yes. We have a ship called Genesis, which we built throughout season one that he's on board right now. Yes. Uh, up orbiting the moon, and now we're building a moon base. So that's kind of a short description of what we're working on right now, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this game's tons of fun. It's called Space Engineers, if you haven't come across it yet. Uh, drop the stone. Don't need stone. <laughs> um... <coughs> How many construction components do I have? None. All right. Off to a great start. <laughs> I have 55 on me. Okay. Oh. We got six. Well, we got five solar panels in process. One solar panel Finished. charging. Yeah. Just waiting on some solar cells. All right. So the refinery. Definitely going to be putting some efficiency upgrades on that refinery. 500. Matter for max is 560 kilowatts. Mm -hmm. So we'll need. Um, yeah. We're, we're going to need all those solar panels to run the refinery at full p capacity. Oh, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll have to build more for sure. Yes. Uh, let's see, how many players, I think up to 16 can play on a, a map at like a time? That, yeah, depending on what hardware is hosting, I think. Yeah, part of it comes, yeah, part of it comes down to your internet connection, um, the, so, uh, the, you know, the hardware you have, like your computer. Um, I know at the end of season one, Drew's computer was having trouble <laughs> keeping track of everything. Yeah. Um, it was a pretty labor-intensive thing for the computer. <laughs> Mine kept up fine. It was also the host server, which I think helped a little bit, but still, having to render in all that stuff, it, it does tax your system as you add more stuff to your world. Yeah. Um, especially, of course, the larger ships and objects will do that faster. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, mm -hmm. I have it. A lot of my issues before were uh, internet issues too. I upgraded from the cheap B charter rent a rent a router to uh, rent a turd. Yes, pretty much to my own actual router. That's actually a pretty decent one. That yeah, helps and uh, I have Xfinity. Yeah, lucky bastard. <laughs> Well, I had, I, in season one, for all of season one, I had charter. Yeah. 
Um, and you know, <clears throat> connection wise, it was okay, but I had my own um, internet equipment. Yeah. So that helped. Here, I guess while I'm waiting, I will fly up to. I will fly up to the uh, ship there. So you can see it. In all its wonderful glory. <laughs> Don't mind selling somebody on this game, Eric. It's uh, it's quite the uh, adventure, I have to say. And yes. um, the cool thing is, if you if you ever want to check it out, just you know, spot check a couple episodes um, from the past season, so you don't have to watch all of them. Uh, there's even, I think, a review episode at towards the end, like episode 150-ish, I think. Probably. I can't remember exactly <laughs> which episode it was. Um, we did kind of like an overview rather than play the game of what we've be done so far. And the game progresses from episode 1 and 2 all the way up through episode you know, 170 something. You know, the graphics change, the sound engine changes, different features and how things look. I mean, this is game's been, um, when we started was actually considered early access. Yes. Uh, now it is a full-fledged release game. Well, and they're still working on I mean, they're beta, still doing but, changes yeah. to it, too. Yeah, they labeled it as beta now. <laughs> yes, it is labeled as beta. But yeah, they do, uh, they're really good on keeping on top of stuff. They usually push out, like, minor bug fixes from, you know, people telling them what, what's wrong with the system, like, any issues they're having. So usually about once or twice a week they push out little updates kind of keep bug fixes and then every month or two they push out a major release so that uh red ship there in the distance that is genesis aka bertha yes. um that's the ship that we spent the majority of season one building or preparing to build i should say yeah um because we weren't building it the entire time um we we're kind of on and off panels right now and the other four just need uh, cells so just Thanks. need cells yep all right and you got them processing yep all right I will pick some up while I'm up here Start getting the frame put down, start putting down the floor more. So it doesn't just look like a cave with a cap on it. Well, I mean, it's an option. <laughs> uh, let's see. How many solar cells are we short? Right now. Like 260, yeah. I think. For the I'll rate. stay up here for a little bit then. Right. Um, I guess I'll give Eric a tour of the ship. Alright. Uh, are there blueprints? Uh, yes, sort of. You can go out into the Steam Workshop, there are blueprints. You can save your own blueprints. Um, but you can build freeform. Yeah. And now all, everything you're seeing around us right now is freeform built. Uh, we just kind of went for it. Yeah. Um, there's, there's air systems. 
so like um, here go up here close that off oh, oops don't close myself in there close the airlock that somebody left open I wonder who that was <laughs> um, so you close that off and then uh, the system pressurizes you just can tell with those uh, uh, dots there on the um, vent sorry can't remember what the <laughs> darn thing it's called um, but yeah this is an this is an airtight ship so you can actually like I can take my helmet off and be just fine um, you know, assuming I've got the ship pressurized. <laughs> so this is the uh, the bridge. My magnet boots are trying to yep, up, up, there, up. Jeez, settle down. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, I'm standing on the bridge right now. That's the moon down there. Um, and this is the uh, the view from the bridge. You notice there's Gatling guns tracking. Um, they are. Uh, mobile defense basically they keep track of uh, ma mainly it's meteors that are coming in that's the way we got it set up right now is that there's there is the opportunity for some meteors to possibly come through so yes and uh, the magnet boots kind of give you this spider like feel when you're tree climbing around <laughs> oh, yeah, for the sure. wall you can kind of go whichever which way those are those are new we didn't have those for most of season one yeah Oh, that is a jump drive there. Um, yeah, you can build, I guess you could say, horrible objects. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, they don't think they have aerodynamics, do they? Uh, not stock, no. There are some mods that have it. Right. Yeah, go out the back here. Jetpack. So yeah, this is uh, this is <laughs> this is what we worked on for season one. Is yeah. um, quite the project because the thing is, is we didn't have any resources to start other than a crashed red ship, which is a stock ship in um, the game, and the parts of a crashed blue ship, and we collected those up, rebuilt the red ship just enough to fly it. <laughs> And uh, we ended up then uh, taking home on a uh, an asteroid, yeah. and then mined everything we needed and built everything we needed. So we were basically self-sustaining. Oh, yeah, uh, this is this is such an awesome game. I love it. I, I can. Uh, can't speak enough about it. Yes. Good things about it. Um, I gotta give Drew the credit for the design on this particular ship. He spent a lot of time outside of our stream designing it. I contributed <laughs> the contents. <laughs> <laughs> he did the design. I, I did make some slight modifications while we were building, like these yeah. um, these hangar lights here in the, the windows and couple other small little design kind of functional pieces yeah um, I did a lot more functional things yes, I just like, made yeah, it look mega pretty. minor mega minor was much more of a functional thing oh yeah for sure it looked ugly as heck but man it got stuff done oh, yeah. um, I was big on solar we're doing solar again down on um, the moon but the solar makes sense for the moon base yes all right let's see speaking of solar let's see how many solar cells we got now. Um, I've got some more. Oh, and my inventory is full, so if I take those out and put those in, and then do that. I'm getting closer. Alright, I'm going to take some steel plate with me. And jump back in. This is actually one of the few surviving ships that I got. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the Solar Scout. Uh, it seems to have the ability to just keep going right now. Mm -hmm. Looks like Home Sweet Crater is uh, getting shade again. Yeah. 
Oh well, I guess we're not really using the refinery yet. We're still setting it up, yeah. so not a huge deal. And the solar panels do have a little bit of a buffer, at least. Well, yeah, I mean, the solar panels all come with a battery. I can't remember how much they store. It's not tons, but yeah. it's some. Yeah. coming back down Ooh. yeah the universe will generate resources um, in our case the, or, you know, in the case of most of this game there really isn't a set objective um, it's an open builder open world if you think of it like Minecraft I guess in a way basically except in space yeah there's no real set objective there's some achievements of course that you can get um, which I think we were going to do an achievement series on it at some point. Yeah. But, you know, it's more of a you know, build stuff and see what see what you can invent and and do. I mean, there's a survive. You know, we're in survival mode right now, so that mm -hmm. means you know we can die if we screw up. Yeah. But I mean, we got the ability to respawn back on um, on uh, Genesis, so. That helps. Yes. Alright. Solar. Solar. Oh. Still about a about hundred short oh. of a fully functional solar array. balance it out, it's going to bug me if it's not balanced. It's making contact up there still. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to damage that. <laughs> just, uh, just fix that up real quick. Um, mm -hmm. All right, what are you hitting now? Everything. Yeah, I play City Skylines too. I've um, I did a small series and I kind of not necessarily gave up on it, just haven't really continued with it recently. And I'd like to again sometime. Um, is, was it just those little rocks that were getting in the way? Probably. If it was just those little rocks. Yep. Just those little rocks. That's <laughs> all it was. Um, so yeah, you got first person's per perspective, but you can also go third person, so you can get like the perspective of your builds a little bit more, which is nice. I run around in first person mostly though. Yeah. Third person flying the ships, but first person as a person. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this last one's still gonna need uh, 10 construction components. Uh, of course, the yeah. solar cells and a large tube. Yeah. And then we got the components in the tube up, up on Bertha. Alright. I kind of figured they were up there because I kind of dumped some. Yeah, I dumped what I had because I was grabbing steel plate to kind of get this, uh, at least get most of the frames down for the hangar floor. 
I should probably tank up on hydrogen and oxygen while I'm here. Probably. There we go. Okay, getting the solar scout again. Go off to the unknown signal. Yay, signals. Yeah, I didn't uh, really jump on the Minecraft train much either, but yeah. for whatever reason, this game has resonated with me, and so, uh, Space Engineers it is. I even jumped a little bit into um, Creativerse, mm -hmm. see, I can't, just can't really get into that too much either. I don't, I mean, I played it, it's and it's more okay, but it's like, I, what was that? It's more Minecrafty. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, is I think... For me, it's it's just too Minecrafty, and you know I'm I'm okay with Minecraft. I mean, I don't mind watching some videos on it, and some of the stuff you can do with it's pretty cool. But overall, it's like I I still like City Skylines. Or um, wow, City Skylines. <laughs> I mean, I do like City Skylines, but overall, I like you know, Space Engineers better. Yeah. There's just, and I think the difference is because you can, like, do mechanized things. Yeah. Not to say that you can't, like, mod it in with those things, but yeah. I, I much, I much prefer this ability of being able to, like, mine and then create something, you know, automated, mechanized. Yeah. In vanilla format. Yes. Ooh, this thing's got a... a thruster on it. No? Yeah. Alright. So it's running away from me. <laughs> Come back. Run away! Okay, I caught it. No, come back. <laughs> oh wait, I should be using my ship to catch this. <laughs> Fuck. Shit, where's my ship? Oh, jeez. Oh, there you are. One of the few ships in the fleet that doesn't have a uh, beacon on it for power consumption and weight reasons. Yes. <laughs> All right, now I gotta come get you. All right. I've had to chase things down in space before. R relate back to season uh, one for that. Yeah, for sure. Moving things in space. And I've, ha I've actually rendezvoused with them before, so I know I can do it. Oh yeah. Thing is, I. It's the mat. It's a matter of how accurate can I be in Solar Scout. That's a good question. That's that's awesome. What? I'm basically hovering with it like Oh nice. Five meters away. Sweet. Now if I can just slowly approach it and then just grab it with one of my landing gear. Funny you should say that, because I did actually have a ship did up in construction yellow. <laughs> yeah. And it had flashing beacons on it too. Yep. Because somebody kept running into it. <laughs> I did too. I'm sure at least half my deaths in season one were from that thing. Rug were just from that ship. Yeah.
Huh. It's a strange sound. Oh. Yeah, it makes a strange noise when I'm hooked up to it. Still haven't tried to stop it. Maybe because I forgot to turn the dampeners back on once I hooked up to it, and then I disconnected because I wasn't sure what the beeping noise was. <laughs> Okay, I see what's happened. So up. Level. Back. Over. Down. Up. One click. Right. Sometimes working in 3D can be a little bit challenging when you're trying to, to dock. Trying to dock. Have a good one. Yeah. What was that? It's a, it's a Nox off to watch another streamer. Oh, bye Nox. Okay. If I can just keep that drifting like that, I jump out and I keep my dampeners off as well. I'm just gonna swim it. I'm just basically gonna swim over it to it. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Don't know what it does. <laughs> Things. It's an unknown signal and I don't know what it does. It's like if I had my disassembler ship still, I'd disassemble the damn thing. <laughs> ah. Alright. So now here's the real danger. Where is the solar ship? Oh jeez. Because I turned the dampeners off on it because we were drifting. Oh jeez. Because I was drifting with the unknown signal. The problem is, it seems like the unknown signal is kind of making its own path. Mm. Oh no. I may have lost my one of my favorite ships. Uh -oh. oh no. It's just a little speck. Yeah. Alright, I guess best I can do is go back to the unknown signal and hope it kept drifting with it. Man. Yeah. Huh. to stand on the unknown signal. I have to at this point. It's like I've come this far, I have to. Yep. Let me stand on you. 